Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to do vertical video. Of course, the most obvious way of doing that is using your phone and just holding that and uh, talking to the phone. But if you want to bump up the quality um, past the phone level, how actually to do that using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And I know there are clamps and cages and all different stuff you can buy to do this, but I'll show you a DIY version of this. I'm only using a cage I already had for, from Smallrig, a tripod, and I did add in a uh, monitor to see what I'm actually doing and then I'm just using the Rode Wireless Go to do all the sound. And this is also a way to do a better audio quality than just using your phone. So without further ado, I'll, I'll show you the setup and how that is working and then um, I'll show you how to edit the stuff inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. That's all for this video, so let's jump right to it. So as you can see, the setup is right here. Um, we have a, the monitor, this is the video assist attached right here. We have the camera on the cage, uh, again, just right onto the tripod. Uh, and then we have the sounds, which are a Rode Lavalier Go system attached right here. And uh, in that way, I can do the vertical videos just like that, talking directly to the camera. Um, so now, of course, I'll just go in and show you how to edit that. Okay, so the first thing to do is to set up the timeline resolution. As you see, I've done right here. I am on the cut page, and that is because the fastest way to enter the portrait mode is actually to go into the cut page, go up here uh, and change your timeline resolution to portrait. And, um, and that's what I'm, I'm going to do into the cut page. I'll go directly into the edit page. And um, in the edit page, I want to start out my clip here with a little <laughs> clip from the video itself. So I'm just going to drag down this uh, old tutorial I did maybe two years ago. And uh, my idea here is I want to take the tutorial and squeeze down the time to explain how you do this effect in less than 60 seconds. And then I'm going to upload this as a YouTube short because I think it would be pretty fun to um, do that. So let's first off start with the clip here. So we need to cut up some stuff and I'll do that very fast, just like this. I'm going to, again, link my clips because I didn't do that. And then we are going to cut out seconds. This is what we want. We have like two seconds to get the viewer's attention. So this clip, I am also going to zoom this up using the inspector because we need to make it fit into this format and it wasn't really made for that. So maybe it will work like that, I think. Well, that's good enough. So we'll go into the talking head portion of this video as you just saw me filming. Um, and again, we have the clip right here and we are going to hello, find hello, the... Hello, Klaus here and welcome back. Actually, that was not even the take. We need to use this because this was shot vertical. And um, if you want, I just want to do some minor tweaks here, zooming it in a little bit and then repositioning as well. And then we can put it down as well here in the inspector. Like that. Something like that. Okay, so let's see. To do this effect, this is what you need. So let's just very fastly cut this together. We need to have this clip in here. If you want. And we are going to cut out all breaks, so it has to be super fast. Like there, and then again, we are just going to cut this and uh, align it. 
If you want to do this effect, this is what you need. One. Okay. Again, we'll go back to the clip with me. One. A bottle... And then I did some mistakes, but that's... A bottle taped on a tripod. Two, a camera. A bottle... And again, we're doing in and out points. So we have an in point here. A bottle taped on a tripod. Two, a camera on a tripod. Two, a camera on a tripod because... Okay, I need to add in some here. taped on a tripod. Okay, so I'm just going to take this part here. I'm going to drag that down. And again, we are going to... We're going to trim our stuff again because we need it to be fast. This is what you need. One. You need one. Okay, we'll go frame back here or something like that. I'm going to cut that out. One. A bottle taped on a tripod. So instead of actually showing you how I do the entire video, I'm just going to show you very quickly how I, I'm, I'm going to, of course, overlap all these things using the, again, the original video. Um, because I remember that I'm talking about uh, taped stuff here. So I, think I, can take, I can take those footage from here. Bottle. Bottle need to be like that. I'm going to do like that. And I'm just going to, again, take the clip and only the clip without the sound. Just drag that on top here. This is what you need. One. Need one. A bottle. And of course, this doesn't fit into our timeline now. So we are yet again going to zoom that. Going to zoom that up quite a bit. And then we are going to find the, the parts we actually need. Take on a tripod. Okay. Actually, I'll out of focus here. So we are going to take. I think we could make two shots here. One. A bottle tape. Okay, we are yet again going to do a. A bottle tape. Doing a cut here. I don't know. I'm going five. to zoom out in one second here. I'm going to five. take this part here where after I do the zoom. Something like that. Bottle taped on a tripod. And you know, I, that that is basically what I do for a clip like this. I'm just going to very quickly cut down all the words I need and then I'm going to cover up all of my my jump cuts with B-roll and that's pretty standard for a video like this. So here I have fast forwarded to the final edit. I'll still need to add some kind of graphic, but I'll do that later. But this is the entire edit without the graphic right here. If you want to do this effect, this is what you need. One, a bottle taped on a tripod. Two, a camera on a tripod, because this need to be a locked off shot. Three, a clean plate. Number four, a clip where you do the kick without the bottle cap being on. Number five, a clip where the bottle cap is being pushed off. And this can take multiple takes because you need to have the perfect clip. Number six, mask all your takes together to do the final shot. If you want to have the full video, please hit the subscribe button and see the full tutorial on the channel. See you next time. Peace. For the um, color grading part, I'm going to the color. And, you know, I'm just going to, to do a super basic color. And what I like to do is just to go over to the, over to the color wheels and I'm going to drag down the lift a bit, I'll raise up the gamma and I'll lift up the gain. And then I'm going to go to the contrast and I'm going to contrast the image a bit. I'm going to do a little with the temperature and since I did shoot this on a pocket cinema camera 4K, I know that I need to push the tint just a tiny bit. Then I'll go down here and I'll just change the saturation. 
and uh, on the call boost i'm just going to give that a little little nudge and then um, if you see here zoom in a bit like that uh, this is the grade and uh, this is how it looks without and i'm not going to do anything more than that during um, this particular video because it's uh, it doesn't have to be overgraded just to be corrected so this is more or less the step i do when making vertical videos inside of davinci resolve after shooting it with the pocket cinema camera 4k if you want to see the finished version please click down in the description below there'll be a link and that's all for this video i do hope you found the video useful if you did please hit that subscriber button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing